goes under her head and knees, which we've already done. And we want to make sure the light is dim and the room is quiet. Let her rest calmly for a few, min few minutes with a cold compress on her forehead, which we haven't done here, but everybody knows what a cold compress looks like. Okay. Sit at your partner's head, remove the compress, and gently cradle her head in your hands under her neck. Take a deep breath in, and on her exhalation, lift her head gently a few inches off the pillow, and pull easily on her neck, giving a slight traction. And hold this position for several breaths as she relaxes into this position. So the client will be breathing rather deeply in, and out and wait for head to gently relax into that position and just pull a gentle traction it feels very good and helps reduce that tension you'll hold this position until you feel her relax into to it so the next position we're just going to speed things up just a little bit softly put her head back on the pillow and using your fingertips and thumbs shampoo her scalp and that means just real quick short strokes of friction. Also it's good to ask for permission in case somebody has a do they don't want you to mess up. And this will increase the circulation to her head and it also is great for reducing muscle tension. You know how good it feels when you get your hair shampooed. This feels just as nice and releases a lot of tension. Now we are going to be moving on to the scalp. With both thumbs pressed down in half inch increments on the center part of her scalp, work with her breath, pressing down with each exhalation. Start from the hairline and work to the crown of the head. If any point is particularly sensitive, stay on that point for several breaths. It might be a good idea also to ask for permission because sometimes people don't want their hair messed up. They might be going back to work or something. So always ask for permission. Now we're going to effleurage from her shoulders to the back of her neck. And we're going to repeat this several times. And once you get to the back of the neck, squeeze those neck muscles and then re repeat the effleurage sequence on the back of the neck. Also, uh, a cause sometimes for headaches is tight muscles in the neck and traps. So this will help with headaches as well. There is an herbal remedy that you could try for headaches while you're pregnant, and that would be nettle tea. There's three tablespoons to one cup, or yerba santa tea, one teaspoon to one cup. They're both very effective for combating headaches and safe for pregnancy. Now we're going to move on to the face sequence. This is for allergies and sinus congestion and how to alleviate a sinus headache. Many of the same techniques are applicable to general or migraine headache relief as well. Um, often the mucous membranes will swell during pregnancy or sinus headaches may occur more frequently due to dry nasal passages. It is recommended that expectant mothers reduce the intake of dairy products, limiting herself to skim milk and obtaining additional calcium through the following foods like dry, non-fat powdered milk, soybean products, nut, meats, leg legumes, and vegetables. Pressure point massage to the sinus is very effective in promoting sinus drainage. So we'd like you to hold each point that we are going to demonstrate for 30 seconds. We're going to speed it up just a little bit, not work in real time, but when you do this sinus work on the clients, you will hold each point for 30 seconds. Press deeply on the frontal points of the forehead. And you normally are going to hold that point for 30 seconds, but we're just going to hold it for a few seconds just to demonstrate the positions. Now press the bridge of the nose with your little fingers. Stretch along the ridge of the eyebrows right in here.
Now we're going to press the points halfway down the nose, on each side of the nose. Now we're going to press in at both points on the nostrils. And we're going to glide over to the center of the cheekbones. Try to hook under the bone when you do this. And rub the nose fanning out under the cheekbone. This is good. Now squeeze the muscles on the back of the neck. And this will conclude our prenatal massage. Now Pam will be doing an energy sweep down the body just to balance the energy and re-energize the mom, bring her back to reality. We'd also like to see a very slow disconnect from the therapist to the client, touching in nice areas, safe areas to slowly disconnect. And while Pam is doing this, we'd like to thank Pam Siski for her time today. And Kim. Thank you, Kim.